I'm so excited about tonight's series. This is the kickoff to In the Spotlight. It is a new series that I put together for my company, Spotlight Designs. Little play on words there. Um, I own and operate an event planning business, and I wanted to incorporate other businesses into mine and feature them in a segment that can showcase what they do, what they do for the community, and ultimately what they do for our clients. The event planning business really marries a lot of different vendors because you're in charge of so much when you either have a wedding or you have an engagement party or a corporate event. And I felt that it's something I really wanted to do on my page. I work with a lot of cool people and I wanna show it. I wanna showcase it, I wanna have a good time and I want it to be just chill and relaxed and talk to you guys about the benefits of supporting small business and why we do things we do and because we get a lot of the same questions even if we're a different vendor we come across the same questions so we there's something that we kind of see that will trickle into a different area like photography or whatnot or even catering and i think that by just having a forum where people can tune in and watch it's um it's really beneficial, especially during a pandemic. All we're doing is really sitting and looking at a computer or our phones. So we're here tonight, we're hanging out. And as you see to my left, right? Is that my left or your left? <laughs> I want to introduce you to a very special person. She's besides a very, very good friend of mine. She is an amazing businesswoman. She is creative, she's an artist, she's been an actress, you name it. She's just got her finger in all the artsy things. And I'm really happy and excited to have her on my first segment. Give a round of applause for Emily Jones. Yay! Thank you. She owns and operates her own business called EMJ Designs, but I think I said that wrong. So we're gonna say MJ Designs. Yeah, MJ Web Designs, yeah. My bad. MJ Web Designs. What we're chilling. <laughs> what we're chilling. <laughs> um, it's just because I can't read, to be honest with you. No, I can't. I'm just. Um, so, Emily, huh. I'm going to just give you the floor. And can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? What is your baby? What is she about? Yeah. So um, about three weeks into the pandemic, my cousin called me and asked if I could make him a website. And I had no idea how, but I needed the money. So I said, sure, yeah, no problem. Uh, and so somehow over the course of a, like a month, probably, I taught myself how to make websites and I fell in love with it. And I can make some pretty decent money when I can stay at home with my real baby, my baby girl. Um, as a single mom, I kind of need to be here with her to avoid the childcare uh, nightmare. Um, so I can work from home and I can do something creative and I can work with all kinds of different people. So it kind of just worked out to be an ideal situation for me. So did he approach you or was this something you'd already been playing around with and you kind of reached out and said, hey, I have this thing in my back pocket, let's try it out. Was that the prototype? Yeah, so I was running social media accounts um, for people at the time, which was fun, but it wasn't necessarily um, as fulfilling as I was hoping it would be. So I think because I was in the technology realm, he thought maybe I could, you know, just pull a website out, which I did somehow. <laughs> awesome. And after that, you decided that that was just a door that had opened and it was all of a sudden a love, a newly acquired love, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's so much fun. I mean, I've been designing sites just on my own for fun in between clients just because I love it. It's so exciting. And um, yeah, it's such a nice outlet, especially right now when we're all cooped up. I can kind of design like another world and pretend like everything's okay over there. <laughs> Absolutely. I have seen your work and I'm biased. I think it's amazing. And that's why I reached out and said, hey, listen, like this has so much potential besides what you're currently doing with 
you can do it with politics. You can do it for a simple thing as some, for someone's business. Like I thought this is golden for brides. Number one. Yeah. Like just thought, I know businesses like wedding wire and the knot they have, I think their own different free sites that they, you know, allow the brides to sign up with. And, and those are great. And I am not demeaning them by any means, but I can tell you from being in this business long enough, I have seen that there was a lack of certain things in those. And one of that was the ability to have any type of communication with the server. So you have no idea who you're talking to on the other end. If you're talking to anybody, you might be talking to a robot most likely. Right. And there's a, there's a flaw in that. And I know this based off of working with my brides who would show me, cause I would have a question. I'm like, Hey, do your guests have a way of, you know, seeing this info? And, and they say, I think so, but it was never like for sure. So when I saw what you were doing, I thought there's a calling for this. And I don't really think people think of it as one of the first things. Would you say that? Like, do you get a lot of brides like, calling you and saying, Hey, can you like make me a website? What have you seen? I guess my question is with the access to wedding wire, as opposed to like your ability to doing what you can now. So I guess that brings me into my question is what, what do you specifically, what does your business cater to when it comes to special events? And why would someone hire a web designer to man their special event, like the benefits and everything? Sure. Yeah. Um, so far, I've had people call me and say, I signed up for this free website. I was going to do it myself because it was free. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm freaking out because I have a thousand other things to do. Can you please help me and save me? Um, and you, you're right. Those other sites are great. And if you know what you're doing, sure, you can go that route. But like I said, there's so many other things to worry about that I can do this um, part of it for you. Um, the sites that I've built so far, have included everything from location to accommodations, the parties, the pictures, the wedding party, RSVP, everything that you could need or want is on this one site in this one place. Um, social media and like your hashtag can be connected to it as well, your registry, oh. everything is, is there. And the benefit too is that I can design it for you and your wedding and your colors and vibe, if I may. Um, whereas like the pre-made ones you can do by yourself for free are beautiful, but they're also used by every other bride. So at least this one's customized and um, I can also work with your vendors. So like your photographer, I can um, you know communicate directly with them to get all the pictures so you don't have to worry about that either. That's awesome. So take some things off your plate, you know? So I am a bride. Mm -hmm. And I am looking to get some info on this. And naturally, I, as I tell my brides anyways, like I'm on, I'm on top of them because I'm always like, I, I'm the person who needs to be organized for them. So I can't lack in that area. So knowing that I have people like you and this tool as a resource, I'm absolutely going to use it. So hypothetically, I'm a bride and what does that process look like for me if I've decided after having my consultation with my event coordinator or even my photographer or whoever that says you need to be organized and you need to have this tool. What does that look like as far as how they're getting a hold of you and kind of if you want to guide me through that process of what that would look like for a bride specifically and she wants your service and how, yeah, how does she do that? How does she go about doing that? Yeah, so you can um, find me through my website, through email, through social media, anywhere you can find me, email me, get in contact with me. Um, I'd love to do Zoom or um, any kind of phone call is best, but email is cool too if you don't have time for that. Um, and I just like to get to know the bride. I want to know what she's about. I want to know her story, the engagement story. I want to know kind of what the love story is around it. And I want to know the themes and kind of who they are. That really helps me like design better, I think, and more um, unique sites come from that. So we chat about that. And then 
after that, I can either talk to the bride or I can talk to the coordinator about all the details. You just dump all of the details, all the information in an email or a million emails, whatever you need, just dump it on me and I'll figure out how to organize it. I can usually get the first draft done in like a week. And then after that, we can kind of figure out payment plans, um, if we need to change directions completely. And then we can check in whenever it makes sense. If you wanna just see me on the wedding day, great. I'll talk to you in a year. Or if you wanna to talk to me every month, we can do that too. It's kind of whatever makes you feel comfortable. We can do that. And I wanna make sure that we're all on the same page. So not only is it a great form of communication, but it's communication across the board with like everybody. Yeah. Um, wedding party uh, guests. Yeah. Um, is there anything about the site that wouldn't be able to be changed? Uh, so when you're developing their site specific, I'm anticipating that their palettes, their color palette theme, if you will, is probably going to be integrated into the way their page looks to an extent. Sure. Um, of course, giving artistic, you know, integrity to you as the artist. Sure. I'm sure that that would like look cohesive with the way their invites look and their decorations and whatnot. So that's probably a process for you. And you would probably, they, you would probably explain that to them. And I would expect that's a lot more work and intense uh, amount of work compared to just saying, um, oh, you only want this and you only want this, great. And I think that's what's happening when we look at things like wedding wire and we look at places mm -hmm. like the knot, like they have it and they have like, okay, this is where we're staying, but the ability to actually be able to go in there into the system and click on the individual links that you have manually done for them is my understanding. Mm -hmm. It'll bring up the page and it's just done. Boom, bang. Yeah. So it's sounding like me that this is zero headache for the bride and nothing but positive things. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. That's the goal. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. I mean, I'm married and I can tell you this wasn't, this wasn't here and around. The service wasn't available. This customized service where I'd be able to talk to someone and really engage with them and let them know this is my story. Like you're saying, this is how we got engaged. And mm -hmm. I love that you can make it their own because yeah. I don't think that that's, no, I, I do know that that's not available with places, uh, other forums. We'll just right. we'll say that other forums. Yeah. Um, so I love that. I love that they can pull it up and everything's cohesive and looks yeah. great and there's no headaches and everything is in one spot where you yeah. say, you have a question, refer here. Mm -hmm. You need to know this, check yeah. this out. It's right here. Yeah, and your guests can check in too. So once they have the web address, they can go in and look for you know, frequently asked questions. Can I bring kids or those kinds of things? They can go in and RSVP, which they can change at any time if that's a thing. They can go in and look at all the galleries of the pictures if they missed, let's say, the bridal party. They can go look and see those. Um, everything's there. So yeah, it's not only great for the wedding party, but it's great for your guests too. They can just check in and, and be included throughout the process. That's insanely cool. I love it so much. No, really, like this is so cool. It's going to be amazing. I know, I know it. And I'm going to share it with everybody I know because yeah. it would be so helpful to have a tool like this, yeah. especially when you're a bride, a bride planning a wedding. It's crazy. On, outside of weddings, mm -hmm. um, for corporate events, let's talk about real quick because that kind of dawned on me. What is something that you could do that might be different than with weddings for a corporate event? Let's say Apple is sponsoring their Christmas party. How does that look? Because obviously that's not a year long thing usually. It's probably maybe a month or so in advance. What does that service look like as far as for those people? Are Is it the same process where the employees can log on but it who's in charge of that at the point because there's no bride with that there would just be either the project manager that's running the event or the event coordinator does it then become a thing where you work hand in hand with those just specific vendors or the actual site how, how would that look maybe yeah it's it's really up to the client i can do all of that if that's necessary uh, what i've done before is um, when i built um, sites for businesses it usually takes me about three weeks to get it perfected. Um, so it's not that long of a wait time. And then usually a couple weeks after that, there's some kinks that we have to work out or 
I've had clients change their mind and say, let's start over and do it again. And that's totally fine. Whatever, whatever you need, I'm here to make life easier, hopefully, for my clients and um, streamline their business, their parties, their wedding, everything that they need. And I'm happy to work with vendors too, if that's, if that's easier. Would you say that you have a cap on amount of people that have a say in what's going on? Because I can tell you on my end, mm -hmm. I do. It's my own personal cap as far as how many people are involved in this. And it's just kind of a clause that I have mm -hmm. built into mine. How, is that kind of how it is for you where you don't want too many chiefs running around? You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, we usually establish um, the main point of contact at the beginning. We always can CC everybody and whatnot. But yeah, usually I designate somebody that say, okay, I'm going to keep in contact with you specifically. Um, just like you said, to make sure that's not overwhelming with so many opinions. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think it's so far it's worked out that way where even if a group of people are deciding, there's one person that kind of makes the call with me. That's been working out so far. Okay, awesome. Uh, as far as having them book with you, mm -hmm. um, what does, so they have their consultation, they've seen your samples, they love you and they want to hire you. What does that structure look like moving forward? How do you cater? Do you have packages? So I could understand having a wedding would entail a lot, possible lot more effort than having a quick birthday party. Maybe sure. not depending on who's throwing the birthday party. Are we talking about Kardashians? <laughs> but honestly, like if it's a wedding, it is a lot more work. So, um, is your structure built a certain way when someone inquires and they go, I want to do this. What are your options as far as like, is it a monthly thing where you man at their website monthly or can they do a flat rate? Yeah. So, um, it's usually a flat rate. We'll do something up front just to kind of seal the deal and then payment plans are available if necessary. Um, I typically base my pricing off of effort or hourly work. Time is money. But yeah. <laughs> um, you know, starting with wedding, let's say it's usually about 10 pages, give or take. And I stick with you for a year. So with that package, it would be like 2000 to period. So we can do a monthly payments if that works for you. You can do lump sum, whatever works. We can work that out for sure. Um, but let's say it's, you know, a one page invite to a party or a couple pages. Then we start kind of with, like I said, hourly or by page. So kind of, there's a little wiggle room, mm -hmm. but I'll break it down for my clients every time. I want them to know what they're paying for up front. Um, and we'll definitely sign contracts and stuff to make sure that they're comfortable. Cause I know that can be very um, nerve wracking, especially right now when it's not in person, you know? Right, right, definitely. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of uh, customizing a lot of ability to work with a vast majority of different events. Yeah. So that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's really exciting. awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. And I honestly, when I saw your site, I was truly blown away by how clean it looked, how professional it looked and felt. I clicked on it and I didn't obviously know what to expect. So when I went on and I see, just this really like well laid out, not confusing website, no mm -hmm. pop-up ads. I mean, God, if that's not a, <laughs> a reason to hire you, I don't know what is. I can't stand that when that happens. Um, I just loved it though. And I thought this really needs to be shared with more people. And I think that there is a demand for it. They just don't, it's one of those things you just don't know you need it until it's there. Right. <laughs> Seriously, less headache. I mean, your registries can go on this website. Your links to the hotels. I mean, everything. I'm hoping that eventually we'll be able, um, what I'll do is I can share your site, possibly, if we want to yeah. do that, because that would be really cool. I had a few people asking about it, so that would be fun to put up just to kind of show, but it's beautiful, and it's really 
well thought out and done well and doesn't surprise me that you did it but it'll surprise other people because it's something like I said they didn't know they needed it until they saw it and they go I want that I need that I need that oh man yeah I'll put it up on my site too actually I'll put it up yes for example um, yeah okay please because i i want i want to share it with others and i know it's really hard on here we we can share a screen but it's it's kind of difficult to do that and stay engaged and not get confused about things so i think truly if people want to know about it i think they should the best way is to reach out to you like you said either everyone reach out gmail hotmail whatever you have emails great um social media what are your handles um I'm at MJ Web Designs. You need the S at the end, otherwise you'll get some random guy. Um, so make sure the S is there. <laughs> oh, on Facebook and .com is my website. And there's forms all over the website too where you can just send me an inquiry and I'll get right back to you. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. So basically go on your website, check it out. You'll get in a hold of them and then figure out the deets from there. Yeah. Yay. Cool. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for taking your time out. I know it's not easy, you know, momming it up and taking time for this. So I appreciate it. I have a three-year-old and so it's really difficult having quiet time for yourself. So yeah. yeah thanks for having me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Um, so with that said, MJ Des Web Designs, check her out. Um, I will put in all of the handles on this video so you can go and show some love by following and supporting. Um, anything else before we're done? Like any last parting words? <laughs> I mean, you look beautiful. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I had a reason to actually stick makeup on my face today. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Mwah.